Sir, what's your name? Oh, who is that? Hey, what's your name, man? The dude wants to know your name, man. Uh, his name is Ralph, man. You want to get high, man? This how they do, they got wooden balls, man. Hey, 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 Biggie! Hey, 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 Biggie! Hey, 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 h
Oh. <laughs> it was in this shit, man. Mostly Maui, Wowie, man. Yeah. Don't have time for this. The time is 4:20. But it's got some Labrador in it. What's Labrador? It's dog shit. What? Canada is going to be a uh, weed-friendly nation, and we will no longer have people unfairly being incarcerated. To avoid jail time, use a chalk swipe to remove the smell of weed from your clothing prior to appointment. Okay, directions to parole officer. You have been parked at your destination for 30 minutes. Number one reason, you just just socially and the safety aspect, um, I think weed is going to be way more better for our society. Going into our prison system or uh, unfairly targeted. Uh, we have not yet to see what happens going across the border, but who the hell wants to go see the shithole president anyway? Um, as far as we're concerned, Canada, this is the center of the universe, baby. So you come to us, Canada. We're sitting pretty. He can never be Siri. Us. Can he? See? I can say funny shit, too. Just like drinking, you know, sometimes there's a negative effect, but then you gotta think, well, what kind of a great social time could I create with my friends, uh, you know, it, you gotta measure that. You know, we have people power, we have power coming on our side, we get this power of the earth. Don't you wanna learn something about running your own home? The answer is no. <laughs> Number two, both as a parent and as a qualified teenager back in the day. I went home and told mother that the trouble with her pot roast gravy was, she hadn't added three heaping teaspoonfuls of olive oil. <laughs> We got the power of the sun, we got the power of wind. What did she say? She didn't say anything. She just threw me out of the kitchen. Well, I don't wonder. Hello, children. I think this form of celebration. That was sweet of you, Mother. Gosh, hot chocolate. Among uh, many other forms that, that you could uh, you could suggest. I'll buy you soda. I never drink that stuff. Oh, gee, I'll buy you something else. Okay, you're on the hook for one root beer. Wow. <laughs> We have alternative fuels now, so assholes like Scott Walker that are still um, just being propped up by those of us that are willing to keep us behind. Listen, I'm gonna blow. Oh, I wish you'd lay off those kids. Oh, why don't you get over that mother complex? And how can we all start coming together as human beings, supporting each other, you know, having each other's backs, and standing up to this huge corporate takeover of our democracies. We have got to fight to get the power back. I'm sort of getting a little party Saturday afternoon over at my grandmother's. And maybe that's where proportionate representation may uh, be a good thing because we'll get more people that care. And maybe what we do need is a dilution of some of this extreme uh, a concentration of powers that we're seeing. You know the place for the swimming pool? Like to come? Thanks, Eddie. Maybe I will. I sure like to have you. Okay, I'll probably drop over. And let us remember where 420 comes from. 420 means after school. It's a teenager's that made 420 originally. That's where we get it from. Something is is seriously wrong with our society when we have a guy coming onto the CBC and, and, and almost having to apologize for our consumer standards being so low in Canada. Hey, how do you like that? That's the one I was telling you about. Very nice. About how our banks have the record highs that they've ever been. And meanwhile, our consumer debt. Canada has the highest consumer debt per capita in any country in the world. This is sound the alarm kind of stuff. A new segment we like to call Reefer Madness here on Big E TV. So stay tuned. It should be fun. Do you realize that marijuana is not like other forms of dope? Read for Madness, folks. Watch it. It's coming up here soon. Oh, boy, he really swings out hot like a chime. You want to dance? Do I? It's Christmas Eve here, folks, in Canada. <laughs> we, Canadians, become the official world leader in Wellness Wednesdays. Well, I only kind of say hello to him. I don't go around with him. Well, you better not. He's a little too old for it. That's what my dad said. Mm. Marijuana friendly nation and be legal. From this day forward, I do declare here on Big E TV. I haven't said a lot about it because I didn't want to, I don't want people to get distracted, keep your eye on the ball. Rather than do what most folks do, delete all of my friends that don't share my views and live in a comfortable bubble, I choose to engage with thoughtful intellectual dialogue. I'm not retired, I'm just getting warmed up here, you know? But I see a lot of my friends at that age where they're kind of approaching retirement and they're wondering like, what the hell am I gonna do with the rest of my life? You have a come from a good place, you have a good heart, you mean well. <laughs> Our 
planet, our environment, and our entire way of life. Okay, this stuff is getting serious right now. So get out and vote, folks. Get out and vote. A young girl, 17 years old, a reefer smoker. John Horgan uh, and together with the Green Party of British Columbia, they are doing a fantastic job with our, our province. They're standing up to big oil and gas interests where we have no future. Let's hold our elected official to the same level that we're holding our friends to, our family to, our co-workers to, people that we truly respect out there. Renewable resources, renewable energies, and things that are going to make sense, 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 sense. Okay, that's it. I hope I gave you some things to think about here. Health, happiness, Big E Mindset Monday, you guys. <laughs> Alright, everybody. But I'm going to try to have a conversation that's a little bit bigger than ourselves. Those Vancouver Canucks, please. <laughs> Canucks don't suck this year. Uh, but I do think this is a big win for humanity. Um, Canada, we're leading the way in showing what progress um, can come by having uh, democratic socialist movements like the NDP, having people first parties like the Greens, and for the environment. And it's one and the same, folks. We are for the environment. We are for um, all of our society to be managed in, in a very ethical and, and reasonable way. And we just want balance, okay? And right now, right-wing governments are killing that balance. So let's get out there and let's get people first parties in elected in these municipal elections coming up. And uh, until then, this is Biggie, Biggie TV. Um, and it's getting dark here. Of course, it's here That's better, that's more like it. I know you like that, really well. <laughs> the next tragedy may be that of your daughter, or your son, or your, or your, or your, or your, or your. <laughs> I'm very impressed with uh, Jagmeet Singh. I thought he was strong on power and politics today. I look forward to seeing him again. Vasha Kalapas, uh, and she was a little too much power in her politics, if you ask me. If you look at Kinder Morgan, they're not on the side of the environment and looking at all of these clean alternative energies that are going to be our future. No! Alternative energies, waste into nat that turns into natural gas outside the box, innovative thinking, okay, like funds for municipalities to reduce their own carbon footprints, cutting edge used in Quebec, speed up of electrification of transportation, and it's going to benefit the planet, and we're gonna lead by example. That is innovative thinking. 338 megaton is okay. I have no idea what these numbers mean, uh, but I do know that we need accountability to enforce new carbon reduction targets that become fact. And it's not just this stupid spin because evidently we can play this game forever and all eternity until we get more planet. Biggie motivational moments here to, you know, be happy about life and be happy about, you know, the, the relation. Oh my goodness, I just, oh, oh. I'm telling you, <laughs> there's lots of stuff going on here. <laughs>